this is the Millie Textured Crochet Cowl. This oval motif cowl is worked in the round using post stitches and an offset design to create a beautifully textured pattern. You will need 290 yards of number five bulky weight yarn, an L11 or eight millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle and scissors. The sample is shown in two balls of Be So Easy yarn, my number five bulky weight yarn in color putty. This stitch pattern is a multiple of 12 stitches. To make the cowl exactly as shown, you will need to chain 72 and slip stitch to form a ring. I'm going to be doing a reduced size sample, but we're going to start the same nonetheless. You want to start by tying your yarn to your crochet hook. You can use a square knot, a slip knot, whichever works best for you. And then you want to chain 72 for the full size cowl, or if you're modifying this in any way, you will be using a multiple of 12 chains. Okay, like I said, I've done a reduced size sample. I did a chain 36 for three repeats of the pattern. Uh, if you're modifying, it's a multiple of 12 or the original full size is chain 72. You want to make sure that you have not twisted your chain and slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. And now we're ready to begin round one. Round one starts with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And we're going to work four double crochets in that same chain. Double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in that chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. We'll do that three more times in the same chain. Okay, so the chain three and the four doubles counts as five doubles. Chain two, skip the next four chains, one, two, three, and four. In the next chain, work one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and one double crochet in the next chain. Chain two, skip the next four chains and five double crochets in the next chain. Chain two, skip four chains, double crochet in the next chain, Chain one, skip one chain, and double crochet in the next chain. Our repeat for this round begins with this chain two, chain two, five doubles, chain two, double, chain one, double. You want to repeat that all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, it's chain two, skip the next four chains, and slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round one. Again, this is a reduced size sample, but uh, in general, this is what your work should look like at the end of round one. Round two begins with a chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. You want to double crochet in that same stitch. Two double crochets in the next double crochet. one double crochet in the next double crochet, then two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets, then it's front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. Front post double crochet is yarn over, Insert your hook from front to back to front around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. That's front post double crochet. Chain one, and then front post double crochet around the next double crochet. Yarn over, 
Insert your hook from front to back to front around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Then two double crochets into each of the next two double crochets. One double crochet in the next double crochet. Two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets. Front post double crochet around the next double crochet. Chain one. Front post double crochet around the next double crochet. And this is what you want to repeat all the way around. Two double crochets into each of the next two doubles. One double crochet in the next double. Two double crochets into each of the next two doubles. Then front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet. You want to repeat that all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round two. Round three begins with a chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, and one double crochet into each of the next eight double crochets. Front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. Chain one, front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. One double crochet into each of the next nine double crochets. Front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. Chain one, front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. And our repeat for this round is one double crochet into each of the next nine double crochets. Front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet. And you want to repeat that all the way around. And slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. This is what your work should look like at the end of round three. Round four begins with a chain three, which counts as the first leg of our first double crochet two together, double crochet in the next double crochet. So that chain three double counts as our first double crochet two together. You wanna to work double crochet two together over the next two double crochets. It's yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We now have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. That's double crochet two together. One double crochet in the next double crochet, then double crochet two together over the next two stitches. And then do that again. Then front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. Chain one, front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. Double crochet two together over the next two stitches. And again. One double crochet in the next double crochet. Double crochet two together over the next two double crochets. And again. Front post double crochet around the next double crochet. Chain one. 
front post double crochet around the next double crochet. And you want to repeat this all the way around, starting from double crochet two together, double crochet two together, double crochet, double crochet two together, double crochet two together, front post double crochet, chain one front post double crochet. That's your repeat. You want to repeat that all the way around. And at the end of the last repeat, you want to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet two together at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round four. Round five begins with a chain three, which counts as our first leg of the first double crochet five together, which means we're gonna work a double crochet four together over the next four stitches. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Do that two more times over the next two stitches. Okay, we now have five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops on our hook. So it's the chain three and double crochet four together that count as our first double crochet five together. Chain four, front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, chain four, Double crochet five together over the next five stitches, yarn over, insert your, your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We'll repeat that in each of the next four stitches. You should now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops on your hook. That's a double crochet five together, chain four. Front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. And our repeat for this round is chain four, double crochet five together, chain four, front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet. You want to repeat that all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, you want to treble crochet to the top of the first stitch at the beginning of the round to join. That last treble crochet will count as our last chain four space. So it's yarn over twice, insert your hook in the first stitch at the beginning of the round, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. So now we have the equivalent of a chain four space, but we're positioned at the beginning of the space instead of at the end. And that's important for the beginning of round six. So this is what your work should look like at the end of round five. Round six begins with a chain three, which does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work a front post treble crochet around this last front post double crochet below. So it's yarn over twice, insert your hook from front to back to front around the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Chain one, then we're going to skip the chain four, double crochet five together, and skip to the next chain four, and work a front post treble crochet around the post of the next stitch. So it's yarn over twice, insert your hook from front to back to front around the post of that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Chain two, then we're gonna work five double crochets in this next chain one space. Chain two, front post treble crochet around the post of the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain four, double crochet five together, chain four, and work front post treble crochet around the post of the next stitch. Chain two, five double crochets in the next chain one space.
chain two. So our repeat for this round is front post treble crochet around the next post stitch, chain one, front post treble crochet around the next post stitch, chain two, five double crochets in the next chain one space, chain two. You wanna repeat this all the way around. And at the end of the last repeat, slip stitch to the top of the first treble crochet at the beginning, uh, the front post treble crochet at the beginning of the round to join. Round seven begins with a chain two that does not count as a stitch and work a front post double crochet around the post of the front post treble crochet below. Chain one, front post double crochet around the post of the next front post treble crochet. Two double crochets in each of the next two double crochets. One double crochet in the next double crochet. Two double crochets in each of the next two double crochets. double crochet around the post, a front post double crochet around the post of the next front post treble crochet, chain one, front post treble crochet, front post double crochet around the post of the next front post treble crochet, and then two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets. One double crochet in the next double crochet, Two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets. And our repeat for this round is front post double crochet, chain one front post double crochet, two double crochets in each of the next two double crochets, one double crochet in the next, and two double crochets in each of the next two double crochets. You want to repeat this all the way around and slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round seven. Round eight begins with a chain two, which does not count as a stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet. Chain one, front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet. One double crochet into each of the next nine double crochets. And our repeat for this round is front post double crochet, chain one front post double crochet, and one double crochet into each of the next nine double crochets. You wanna repeat this all the way around, then slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet, stitch at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round eight. Round nine begins with a chain two that does not count as a stitch, Front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet, chain one. Front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet. Double crochet two together over the next two double crochets. And then double crochet two together over the next two double crochets again. One double crochet in the next double crochet. Double crochet two together over the next two double crochets times two. And I repeat for this round is front post double crochet, chain one front post double crochet, double crochet two together times two, double crochet and double crochet two together times two. You wanna repeat this all the way around. Then slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round nine. Round 10 begins with a chain two that does not count as a stitch and we'll work front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet, chain one, 
front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet, chain four, double crochet five together over the next five stitches, chain four, and our repeat for this round is front post double crochet, chain one, front post double crochet, chain four, double crochet five together, chain four. You want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, you want to slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round 10. Round 11 begins with a chain three, which does not count as a treble crochet and we're going to work a front post treble crochet around that first front post double crochet so it's yarn over twice insert your hook from front to back to front around the post yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops on your hook chain two and in the next chain one space work five double crochets chain two, front post treble crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet, and chain one. So our repeat for this round is front post treble crochet around the next front post double crochet, chain two, five double crochets in the next chain one space, chain two, front post double crochet, front post treble crochet around the next front post double crochet, chain one, skip the next chain four, double crochet five together, and chain four, and then go back to the front post treble crochet. That's our repeat. You want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, you want to slip stitch to the top of the first front post treble crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round 11. Round 12 begins with a chain two that does not count as your first stitch and we'll work front post double crochet around the post of this first front post treble crochet and two double crochets into each of the next two double crochets one double crochet in the next double crochet two double crochets into each of the next two double crochets front post double crochet around the post of the next front post treble crochet, chain one, front post double crochet around the post of the next front post treble crochet, and you want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet at the beginning of the round to join, and this is what your work should look like at the end of round 12. Round 13 begins with a chain two that does not count as a stitch, front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, one double crochet into each of the next nine double crochets, front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet and chain one. Our repeat for this round is front post double crochet, one double crochet into each of the next nine double crochets, front post double crochet, chain one. You want to repeat that all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet at the beginning of the round to join, and this is what your work should look like at the end of round 13. Round 14 begins with a chain two that does not count as a stitch. Front post double crochet around the first front post double crochet. Double crochet two together over the next two stitches. And do that again. Double crochet two together over the next two stitches. 
one double crochet in the next double crochet, double crochet two together over the next two stitches, and then again double crochet two together over the next two stitches, then front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, and chain one. Our repeat for this round is front post double crochet, double crochet two together times two, one double crochet, double crochet two together times two, front post double crochet, chain one. You want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet at the beginning of the round to join. Then this is what your work should look like at the end of round 14. Now keep in mind I'm doing a reduced size sample, so let, let me show you on the full size one. So right now we're right here, so yours should look like this. This would be rounds 1 through 14. We're now ready to begin round 15 up here. It does look a lot prettier when you do the full size, so I wanted to point that out. But this is what your work should look like now, and we're in the home stretch. So round 15 begins with a chain 2, which does not count as a stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet. Chain 4 and double crochet five together over the next five stitches yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we'll do that four more times yarn over pull through all six loops on your hook chain four front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet and chain one. So our repeat for round 15 is front post double crochet, chain five, or so, sorry, front post double crochet, chain four, double crochet five together, chain four, front post double crochet, chain one, and you want to repeat this all the way around. Okay, and then we'll slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet at the beginning of the round to join, and this is the end of round 15. Round 16 is super simple. This is part of our edging round. So it's going to be a chain one and single crochet in that first stitch. So it's insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And now you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch and chain around. What does that mean? Well, this is a chain four. In a chain four, we'll do four single crochets. Okay, in the next stitch, we'll do one single crochet. In the next chain four, we'll do four single crochets. In the next stitch, we'll do one single crochet. Chain one, one single, stitch, one single. So for every chain, it's a one for one. If it's a chain four, it's four singles. If it's a chain one, it's one single. If it's one stitch, it's one single. You want to repeat that all the way around and then slip stitch in each stitch around. And then you're going to turn around and do rounds 16 and 17 on the opposite end of the beginning of the cowl. And I'll show you what that looks like on the finished cowl again. So here it is right side uh, facing up. So this was round 16 around 16 and 17 at the top and then we took the cowl and turned it all the way over and in the free loops of our beginning chain from the beginning of the cowl work that round of single crochet all the way around and then that round of slip stitch all the way around and it gives you a nice solid border it's really pretty to do a row of slip stitch after single crochet crochet. See that nice thickness it gives as well? You can find the pattern and the yarn to make this beautiful Millie cowl on my website exclusively. All the links are in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.